Hi, I'm Jen Carter of Let's Get Real. We're here today at Maroon Creek Country Club in Aspen, Colorado. We have a very special guest joining us, Christy Henderson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Christy, you. can you tell us a little bit about the Hope Center? Yes, I am the Outreach Coordinator and uh, the Hope Center is about crisis prevention and suicide awareness. And my role in outreach is to help dissolve the stigma. Uh, mental health and suicide is something everybody supports, but no one really wants to talk about it. So with that said, uh, we are reaching out tremendously with education, especially in the schools, mm -hmm. and just getting more awareness. And I have the ability now, and I'm grateful, to be able to reach out to this community and really spread in a positive way that people are not intimidated by to actually want to talk about it. And I always say my job is the fun side and I do events and things along the lines where we briefly talk about what we're about but then get people to actually get together and speak about it and do things that are bring people together in a fun way to really reach out to people and that my goal is to help dissolve the stigma and I personally like to share my story. I know I, I know you have a very special story yes. that you're very it's very close to heart. Can yes. you tell us more about what happened to you? Yes. Yeah, so five years ago I was in crisis and a dear friend made a phone call and called the Hope Center and I truly believe if it wasn't for that home call I would not be here today. Wow. Michelle Muthane, the director, mm -hmm. stood by my side. And it, honestly, at times, I was like, I wish she'd leave me alone. Like, I don't want to deal with this, but yeah. she cared. And so many people at that point just didn't know what to do. And I am forever grateful to the Hope Center. And then eventually, I slowly got reintroduced to the world as I got better. And then a dear friend committed suicide, who doesn't live here anymore. And that's when I realized I have to start volunteering. If I can't share my story of hope, then I'm part of the problem with a stigma. And now five years later, I work for the Hope Center and it truly is an honor to work for them. And my story is so important to share because I'm living proof that the Hope Center can save lives. It does save lives. And you mentioned people can call on behalf of yes. someone else to the Hope Center. Yes, exactly. And you know, we're much more than a crisis prevention, mm -hmm. suicide awareness. Mm -hmm. My, what I say often is, I want people to call before the crisis. If you're having a bad day, if you have a crazy thought, you name it, there's no judgment. And I didn't come forward for 10 years because I, I was like, oh, I, I'm insane, I'm gonna get locked up. And that's so not true. Really you can call about anything. And you know, we all have crisis, but we don't think it's really a crisis and let's prevent it before the crisis. And yes, we're there if there is a crisis and we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, someone always picks up the phone. And if needed, we will be there on site immediately. Wow, I like what you said about coming before the crisis. Mm -hmm. And I know, I mean, even Real Women as an organization, mm -hmm. yes. part of the reason we um, have this group yes. is to have community yeah. and to give each other a supportive yes. friend to have before mm -hmm. anything like this right. can happen. Yeah. And we're happy to support you. And I know yeah. there's an amazing fashion show coming up. Yes, can you tell is. us more about that? So um, this fashion show is um, the Aspen Cares puts it on. Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing theatrical fashion show at the Belly Up. Amazing. And it's March 22nd. Mm -hmm. And ben it benefits the Aspen Hope Center. And what these ladies do, they put together is beyond amazing with the models with the theatrical side of it it's just i encourage everyone to go it you won't be disappointed and um it's just that's a th those type of events as i was saying these fun events like You're bringing light to, to a yes, very serious light to a very situation. situation and we can talk about it our our logo is connect hope heal and through these events through these education programs we really want to reach out to everyone in the valley and know that we are there for everyone. So as real women, can what can we do to support the fashion show besides, uh, can we buy a table? Can we? Oh yeah, well tables I'm pretty sure are almost sold out, Oh, okay. but uh, wow. tickets are available. You can go to aspencares.org or the aspenhopecenter.org and buy tickets there. And I highly encourage going to aspencares.org to see past year's shows. You'll be blown away. 
And, well, I um, could use the fashion advice, yes, well, I think, although we do have some fashion Well, I love this shirt. Today. Yes. <laughs> These are Aspen yes. Real Women shirts, which yes. are on our website. Yes. <laughs> and Aspen Real Women, I went to the first luncheon today, and I'm definitely going to be a staple part of this uh, group because oh, we're it so is lucky to the have confidence you. and building for mm -hmm. all women. It's always needed. And just collaborating and knowing we have support. It, it, people don't realize how much those little things really make a difference. And I left the luncheon today just invigorated, just feeling powerful in the sense of my cause is important. Every woman there has a purpose and has a story to share. Well, I left invigorated too and inspired by people mm -hmm. like you. We really have such an inspiring, amazing group yes, of women. It really and, is. and we thank you for your time. It's of course. so valuable. Yes. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. And thank you so much for being here again. I'm Jen Carter. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing, amazing day.